Yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you a, a little outside perspective because uh, I met Jim uh, maybe before, but uh, but at probably around the fantasy camp when it started. I have never seen Wayne so engaged in a guy. He he will have Jim MC anything he does. And I've never seen a guy think somebody is so fun. Is that fun? Right. <laughs> like Wayne will sit in the front row and he will be in tears. And Jimmy can be a little off color. And some of the things I, I go hope. Not really. Like, <laughs> there was all sorts of jokes that Jim made. You know, we, we all know a little bit about Janet, the, the, the issues about the gambling and things. And he would sit on stage. and We'd have, I don't know, 200 people in the room. And he'd be talking about uh, the gambling thing. And I'm thinking, oh, Wayne's going to be really pissed. He was in hysterics. That was, right. Jim was so irreverent. And, and, and of course, uh, uh, Paulina, there was, you know, Paulina liked to wear provocative clothes. And Jim would right. make comments. And I'm thinking, that's his daughter. He's going to say he would be crying. Well, it seems like your relationship began on the basis that you treated him like a regular human being. As Wayne Gretzky, you must, you have yes men and yes women all around you all the time. You started out by giving him a little bit of shit, and he probably loved that, and, and that's what he loved about you, you know, to be treated like a normal human being. The third description of you that I found online, and this will this will wrap this up in, the, in a nice little bow, is actually, uh, was said by Wayne. Wayne Gretzky says... He's the funniest man on earth, which makes me want to ask the question, um, how has Wayne gone his whole life without hearing George Carlin? Like, what? <laughs> am I crazy? Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Maybe that's one of the ones I wrote that snuck through. Yeah. Uh, you know, funniest guy, funniest guy in the world. I'll tell you, I'll tell you all those years doing those gigs. Brian was saying, you know, how much he liked. He loved to laugh. And, and people, people, what they don't know about Wayne, most of it's, you know, documented about the guy, but uh, you guys would know, and I know very well that he is very funny. Okay, very funny. Just, uh, he's got one of the best sense of humors I I know, to be honest with you. And he's he's very fast, very quick witted, and um, so he laughed a lot. You know, and he uh, <laughs> when we did gigs. Because you're right, Brian, back in those days, uh, I called them my blurry days. Uh, you know, when I, well, you are, I you drank. are, we, we should say you are uh, sober how many years now? Yeah, 12. 12 years. 12 years okay. clean, clean and sober. But I liked you a lot uh, better when you were drinking. <laughs> you yeah, are, you are the problem. You are the problem. Yeah. yeah. I say congratulations. Fun, you know, we can, uh, um, anyway, so I did some crazy shit, you know, when I was on stage and offensive and over the top sometimes, but he always had my back. And so when we, we started, you know, the more gigs, he always kept me doing these gigs. He was super loyal. He's a great friend. And, and he said, dude, okay, you, you'd mentioned, uh, Brian, the year that that gambling thing came out. And then Rick Tockett, of course, was part of it. And he was with Phoenix at the time. And he got suspended. Uh, self, self-imposed. He came forward and said, fine, I'll take it. He wasn't allowed in the rink. Uh, he was at Phoenix. And he couldn't go near an NHL rink. And and so he was coming near the end of that suspension. In fact, it happened the week the the fantasy camp was on, and I think it was in L.A. at that time. Are, are you able to quickly just give a little bit of an explanation on, on what happened there for our listeners who aren't aware? Just just a quick little summary? Or, um, or do you not want to get into it? Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I, I, it's I public think, domain. Yeah, yeah. I think what happened is Rick... Uh, was involved in some sort of, you know, now, now it would be fine, you know, but back then he was in, in, involved in some gambling or something. And there was a, I don't know, I, I don't want to say a sting operation, but anyway, he got, he got called on the carpet about it. And then Janet's name got pulled into this thing. And um, so that's all I know about it. Um, or all I, yeah, that's all I know about it. And any, anyway, the shit hit the fan. And then, um, so, Rick was welcomed back that week of the fantasy camp and he was there and he was able to go into the building and uh, um, the trainers were so funny. I don't know if you remember, Brian. So Rick was, his office was there and, and, and they put black electrician's tape like, like, like jail bars on the window of his office. <laughs> they, had, they, had a dry, they had a dry, they had a dry erase board, right? Saying, uh, like they had, they had betting lines of all the teams on this board of Rick. 
They had, they had meal of the day was bread and water. The phone numbers, the phone numbers, they had phone numbers, fake numbers there. And it was like Biff, Snake, uh, you know, with their numbers, uh, Bookie, you know, and all this stuff. And, oh, uh, man. And it was hilarious. Anyway, Wayne would always say to me, hey, Scooter, before you jump up there, what's the plan? Okay, because... Because Wayne doesn't like offending people. He doesn't, he doesn't like to get too edgy. But he'd always grab me by the shirt collar and go, I don't want anything said about this Rick thing. Right? And I said, no problem. That's the one knowing thing you don't I, say to a comedian. Say yeah, yeah. And so he said, what are you going to do? And I said, don't, I, it's okay. It's all good. You know, trust me. He said, no, fuck. I don't trust you. Okay? <laughs> I don't. And so what I did was uh, for that thing, uh, I got an easel. And um, I had it. I had a sheet over this, uh, you know, seemingly piece of art, okay, like a print, okay. And this thing was sitting there, and I so I launched into this opening dinner, and said, "Welcome everyone, and uh, um, we would like to first of all uh, welcome back uh, everyone to the fantasy camp." And um, Wayne, if you don't mind coming up, I'd like to make a presentation. Oh, and he's, he's sort of like shaking his head. I go, <laughs> Would you please come on stage? Uh, and, but, but before we do any of this, as you're coming up here, Wayne, we would really sincerely, from the bottom of our hearts, we'd like to welcome back Rick Tockett. And uh, it kind of got this standing O. I said, uh, Rick, if you don't mind coming forward as well. And Wayne's looking at me. Going, oh, no. here what we are go. you doing? <laughs> and I said, no, this is a, this is a tender moment. Uh, and then I, I ripped the sheet off and cause it was at the end of January, this camp back then I ripped the sheet off and I've got a betting pool on a chart, <laughs> right? that says, you know, you, you know, where you buy the 10 squares. Yeah. You know, on Super oh Bowl yeah, 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 yeah. And I've got, uh, for, I've got like from the betting house, talk it, talk it and Jones. And I said, now Rick, how does this work? Okay. Help us out. Do you get a hundred bucks here or there? And Wayne's just shaking his head. Uh, but he always said, yeah, that was great. That was great. But he so, would laugh uh, his head off at it. Thank you so much for watching this clip of the sign off of Frameworth podcast. Just a reminder that we have full episodes of the sign off available wherever you get your podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google podcasts, and more. Make sure to like, and subscribe on whichever platform you use. You can find us on Twitter at Frameworth sport or on Instagram at Frameworth Sports. And hey, if you're not sick of me yet, you can find me on Twitter at Retrograde Mikey. Finally, feel free to send us emails with your questions you want us to answer on the show and we may feature you live. You can do that by sending your emails to signoffpod at frameworth.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you with a new episode every single Thursday.